I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another episode of What's for Dinner. I thought it might be fun to do another version of a corned beef. So tonight we're going to roast a corned beef in the oven with a brown sugar and mustard glaze and I've got to tell you, you're in for a treat. So let's go see how we put this all together. We're gonna get started on our oven roasted glazed corned beef. This is so easy, but it's going to give you a different, a little bit of a different result than just slow cooking it in your slow cooker or in your uh, crock pot or in your pressure cooker. This is an option that <clears throat> is gonna give you a different outcome. The meat's going to be succulent and moist, and it's gonna have this delicious glaze on it. So what I have here is approximately a three pound flat cut corned beef brisket from the grocery store. I have trimmed a good portion of the fat cap off the top because mine well, has a, a little bit of a, a little lip of meat on the bottom that I, otherwise I would just flip it upside down. But today we're just going to go ahead and trim the fat cap off and that's fine. Another thing we have is we're going to make a glaze. Very simple. I am not using the pickling spice packet that came with the corned beef. I'm using a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of brown mustard. Mix these two together and that's pretty much going to be our glaze. You can use whatever mustard you have on hand. So you use whatever mustard that you have available. Don't think you have to go out and, and buy something special if you don't have it. So what we're going to do now is pop this glaze right on the top down the sides I have my oven preheated it does and it smells good already the ovens preheated at 375 make sure you get all the exposed parts of the meat covered as best as you can. Sometimes the parts that have a little bit of fat on them, it's going to try and run off, but it's it's all good. The only other thing I'm going to do, and this is a personal preference, is I'm going to sprinkle a good bit of cracked black pepper over the top. I'm not using any salt because this corned beef has already been brined and it's salty enough and it doesn't need any additional salt. So that's pretty easy, I think. Now we're going to pop this in our oven at 375, and we're going to cook it until it's nice and tender. So I'm going to cook it for at least two hours, and then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, our corned beef is ready to come out of the oven. And I have all of the other things that I'm going to be making for dinner tonight. You can see that it's shrunk up considerably. Not to worry, because corned beef does that. I'm just switching my pans around right now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to let this sit for at least 20 minutes while the rest of my dinner is coming to be finished, and then we'll be back and we'll fix you a plate of it. There is our slow roasted brown sugar and mustard glazed corned beef. It's absolutely delicious. It's sliced like a dream. I let it sit for about 20, 25 minutes before I sliced it, and it just sliced amazingly. While that was resting, I went ahead and I threw together a nice little sweet and sour slaw. That's a hot slaw that I did bake in the oven on a sheet pan. And I roasted a couple of potatoes that I just split in half face down on a parchment. And we're just going to have those with our corned beef for supper tonight. So this is a, just another little way that you can think outside the box to have your St. Patrick's Day dinner celebration. Um, we don't really do a big deal, but it's always fun to observe it because St. Patrick's Day, you know, it's just a little bit of fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Rick give this a taste. It really is beautiful, it's tender. I cut it against the grain and, you ready honey? Oh, that's delicious. It's really good. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. mm. So that'll do it for St. Patrick's Day. And I know that you're just going to love it. This is just a different way of making a corned beef instead of throwing it in your slow cooker 
or throwing it in your pressure cooker. Sometimes we just want a different way of doing things, and this is that way. It gets a little bit of sweetness from that brown sugar, a little tang from the mustard. It's really, really great. If you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on our YouTube channel and right from our kitchen. I hope that you enjoyed today's presentation. I hope that you give this oven roasted brown sugar and mustard glazed corned beef a try for your St. Patrick's Day celebration or any time. And I hope that you love it. Until next time. I'll see ya. And it wouldn't be a shake without some whipped cream. So I've got my cream whipper here. And there we go. I'm going to pop a little Ferrero Rocher on the side. And...